Welcome to IGN India. This is Video Games and and today we have with us a producer from Ubisoft, Richard Francis. Hey Richard, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me here. Richard here has worked on some incredible titles including stuff like the re-release of Far Cry 3 back in the day. Now, tell me this. Let's get the first things out first. As a game developer, are you always gaming? And is that what your job is? Uh if if only that was the case, uh I mean while we do have to play the game that is not really what we do we do not really play games throughout the day but it's it's a lot more than that uh because uh, technically speaking video games are also a form of software it's just that it falls under special category which is which is entertainment so similar to any other software uh jobs uh even uh, video game development requires all sorts of expertise to you know make these games uh, come to life So so yeah it's not just playing games that we do uh, throughout the day we do have you know specialized teams who do that to you know uh, break the game and make sure that we build it at the expected quality but you the, do game a lot of course of course there's there's no denying that uh, i i wouldn't call myself myself a hardcore gamer but uh, nevertheless i do game a lot yes which is one of the reasons why i've been in the industry and have never really looked back so richard you've been in the industry for 7 years now uh Did you always want to do this? And uh, I think you stumbled upon it in your college, right? What uh, led you to this career choice? Yeah, so uh, I, I would be lying if I said that you know I've always wanted to work in the industry. Like you rightly said, uh, it, it was me, you know, literally stumbling into the industry. So, uh, th- thanks to my college. and uh, you know a little bit of luck i ended up or rather started my career in the industry uh so i was uh, hired as a digital marketing executive uh, for the first organization that i worked for uh just that uh, that gig lasted for uh, about 6 to 8 months if i'm right uh, before uh, one of my managers realized that you know i could be a potential better fit in production so he asked me to give it a shot and uh, the rest is history let's say a college kid like you did loves playing games and wants to get into the gaming industry now how does that love for gaming then convert into a job i mean is is the love for gaming just enough uh but while love for games is definitely a criterion i mean you have to you have to love what you do right so that is definitely important uh but then that alone won't really cut it i mean uh, as as an individual who aspires to be in the industry you really need to know the workings of game development you need to figure out what your uh, you know core area of interest are uh, do a little bit of research around it uh, maybe maybe do a course around it that could potentially give you an edge over the others uh, you know who are out there in the market looking out for the same um, so yeah so there's there's a little little groundwork and a little bit of hard work that you need to put into it uh, to ensure that you you know get what you're looking for uh, if you are looking to venture into the uh, industry but at the same time we have a blooming esports scene as well in india which could potentially turn into a full time gig for uh, a lot of people out there a lot of gamers essentially uh for instance uh, brands like wd black uh, is putting up a lot of uh, events contests and you know even sponsorships which would help uh, gamers as such out there uh, in uh, turning this into a you know full time gig for them like he said so uh, just like other jobs the ones in the gaming industry would also require one to be updated with latest games or uh, other developments in the gaming industry to outsiders everything gaming seems fun and you know all yay but is it really and what does this part of the job look like I mean it it is indeed always uh, exciting to see what other games are doing and where exactly the industry is headed it is it is super important that you know uh, we keep ourselves updated in terms of whether tech is going how it's changing what exactly the market demands are what exactly the customers are looking out for you know as as years go by even if it's something uh, you know seemingly good uh, that we need to bring in it's not necessarily that it should work for you and your team because what works for others doesn't necessarily have to work for us so so yeah there's there's a lot of effort involved in uh, you know keeping yourself updated and also like uh, you know keeping up with the market and where the uh, market is generally going there's something i'm curious about how long does it take for games i mean the big games from fifa to story based ones to develop and how much pressure is there to meet the expectations of the fans 
and players? Uh, from what I've seen and from my experience, it uh, takes anywhere between two to five years to uh, for a for a AAA title to go through the entire cycle and you know be shipped out essentially. The market demands and the expectations from the customers, all that is actually uh, you know studied and uh, understood well in advance uh, before it comes to production. So the production at that point in time just really have to focus on what they need to deliver because uh, you know all like i said all that would be already taken care of there would be a proper market research done and uh, they would have already figured out what the uh, you know the market is really looking for the customers are really looking for essentially interesting so uh, you've been in the industry for 7 years i'm trying to get at understanding does that kind of lessen the joy that you had as a college kid by being inside the industry absolutely not I mean, uh, if anything, it has only uh, made me want to play more games. I just wish I had a little bit more time because there's so many games out there, so many good games, so many games that I could, you know, learn from. But but yeah, so many games and so little time. Interesting. A lot of us grew up playing games with friends. And I mean, friends still game a lot. But you know what I mean, it has changed. How do you think things have changed and if for the better, how? It, it has changed a lot. It, it has indeed uh, changed a lot. Uh, I mean, uh, LAN parties and similar gaming sessions are more or less a thing of the past. Everybody plays online right now. You know, you, you don't even have to worry about, uh, you know, the online sessions and how uh, hard it is for a game to load up because we have solutions for that right now because SSDs. Uh, I mean, uh, these SSDs will let you boot up your game uh, in, you know, lightning speed essentially. For example, you have uh, WD Black providing a range of solutions uh, in terms of SSDs, which will help you store a lot of data, uh, I mean, TBs of data, and also help you boot up your game, I mean, real quick, essentially. But if, if you're someone who is, you know, on the go, a lot of times who is moving a lot, WD Black has solutions for that as well, you know, from what I know. They have a game drive, which goes up to 4 TB of storage space, if I'm right, and uh, essentially you could you know, carry your uh, game library around and game on the go. So oh, yeah, I'm going to pick up that one because I, I am on the move a lot. <laughs> so what kind of games do you play? And uh, what are you playing right now? Uh, I, I generally prefer platformers. Uh, I love platformers. I don't know why. For some reason, I always, you know, uh, find myself going back and finding uh, new indie uh, titles, especially to find uh, and play and experience. Uh, as as for what I'm playing right now, I'm uh, I'm just starting with uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yes, I know I'm late to the party, but nevertheless, better late than never. So yeah, that's that's essentially what I'm playing right now. So when we are not on our jobs, when we get home, we play games. But you do a job that involves you playing games. So what do you do when you want to chill? Um, well, I do play games even after work. Not that I don't, uh, I mean, can't really stay away from it. Uh, but other than gaming, uh, I uh, try to read a lot. I, I like reading, uh, mostly fiction and uh, also a sucker for graphic novels. So, so yeah, that's that's one thing I do. Um, other than that, I'm sort of a movie buff as well, if I, if I may say that. I've been going through this whole, uh, you know, horror movie phase. Just been hunting down for uh, for these underrated, uh, not so mainstream kind of movies and been uh, you know binging them. So, video game graphics and you know they're getting really good by the day. I mean we were discussing this off camera as well, and I'm sure this impacts memory storage and it could put a lot of pressure on your system. Is this something that gamers worry about? Um, they don't necessarily have to worry about it because uh, you know we do have solution to you know these problems but yes like you rightly said the visual quality is uh, improving leaps and bounds uh, almost every year and on, with almost every game that is coming out this has an impact on the storage like you said uh, and also in, in terms of the memory as well but uh, as far as storage is concerned it's it's not a problem at all because uh, again 
SSDs and uh, we have brands like WD Black coming out with internal as well as uh, external storage uh, solutions which can you know sort this out for uh, the gamers. As far as internal is concerned, I believe they uh, provide solutions up to 2 TB of uh, storage and for the external game drives that I was talking about, I believe it goes up to uh, 5 TB of storage. So gamers need not necessarily be worried about it, they just have to uh, you know make, make an informed decision essentially. Do you think game development is moving beyond just good graphics and smoother gameplay? I mean, we're really getting into great storytelling. So much so that people recently have said that uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 felt like art. Uh, is this something that game developers are focusing on more now? Personally, I don't think there's ever been a point in time where, uh, you know, storytelling in games really took uh, a backseat. I mean, there's, there's still, you know, a good chunk of the market who really loves a game with really good story at its heart um, and some of the biggest releases in the recent past is indicative of that. I mean, I for one love such games with you know a good story to tell. Gaming in India has seen an upward graph in the recent years. What do you think the scene will look like in the next five years? In the last year, based on the report that I read, we topped the charts in terms of uh, the most mobile game, cash and mobile game downloads, again, if I'm right. And at the same time, we have the eSports scene which is emerging. Uh, I mean to the extent that the Indian uh, Olympic Association stating that they would you know officially recognize it soon. So so yeah I think I think the future is indeed bright. Thank you Richard for talking to us. That was quite an insightful talk yeah. Absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you everybody for watching Video Games and this is Siddharth Alamban for IGN India signing off.